हेलो एवरीवन टुडे टॉपिक इज स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ साइक्लिक कंपाउंड्स दैट इज एरोमेटिक नॉन एरोमेटिक एंड एंटी एरोमेटिक सिस्टम्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्योरी देर आर देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंपाउंड्स दैट इज एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड्स एंटी एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड्स एंड नॉन एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड्स नाउ बिफोर आई बिगिन आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट द वर्ड एरोमेटिक केम from the word aroma that means a special order a pleasant order so further uh, it was discovered that there are some properties uh, which if they are satisfied some conditions if they are satisfied then the compound is said to be aromatic so according to this theory there are three types of compounds one is aromatic compound other is anti aromatic compound and the last one is non aromatic compounds so what are aromatic compounds so a compound is said to be aromatic if it follows the following four conditions if it follows the following four conditions so a compound is said to be aromatic if it follows the following conditions the first one is system must be cyclic yes so uh, students you can see we are saying it is a cyclic system so as soon as we see the non cyclic compound or a cyclic compound immediately we will say it's not aromatic because the first condition itself is not satisfied so system must be cyclic the important condition then system must be planar means sp2 hybridization of the atoms shall be present uh, like each atom which is in the conjugation i'll tell it further third so first condition is system must be cyclic second system must be planar third one is system must be conjugated what do you mean by conjugation we have already seen in resonance that p p orbital must be parallel to each other on adjacent atoms so that way conjugation happens you know that so three important conditions system must be cyclic system must be planar and system must be conjugated and the fourth and the important condition it must follow huckel's rule what this huckel rule is it is nothing but 4n plus 2 pi electron rule so the pi electron in conjugation this is pi electron in conjugation it shall have it should follow this series 4n plus 2 pi electron if i put n equal to 0 i will get 2 pi electrons if i put n equal to 1 i will get 4 <coughs> 4 into 1 plus 2 that is 6 pi electron and similarly we can add 4 4 to 8 so 2 plus 4 6 then 6 plus 4 so put n equal to 2 you will get 10 pi electron and so on and so forth so one important example we can see here let's take a very famous example benzene you can see this is benzene so here let's see let's check if it is following the conditions so first condition is system must be cyclic yes it is cyclic second system must be planar yes it is planar next system must be conjugated yes let's check Cy cyclic we are going we are able to see see why it is planar each atom is sp2 hybridized so it is planar why it is conjugated we have already learned in resonance double single double single conjugation throughout the cyclic system there should be conjugation throughout the cyclic system and last is huckel's rule let's check the electron 2 4 6 so there are 6 pi electron yes it is satisfying the condition and this series so benzene is a aromatic compound the next one is anti aromatic compound now what is anti aromatic system so the what is anti aromatic system it again has four conditions yes the first condition is same system must be cyclic then system must be planar oh second condition is also same third condition is system must be conjugated so the first three conditions of aromatic and anti aromatic compounds are same that is system must be cyclic system must be planar system must be conjugated and the fourth fourth is also same no why if fourth is same then it would become aromatic so there is some difference so it follows 4n pi electron rule so we we would not put n equal to 0 because obviously if four, if pi electrons are zero then there is no conjugation that means so we'll start from n equal to 1 so there are four pi electrons n equal to 2 there are eight pi electrons in conjugation and so on so we can see the table of four 4 8 12 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 
16 and so on <clears throat> so let's check with an example this one famous example so let's check whether it is anti-aromatic or not system is cyclic yes cyclic planar yes each atom is sp2 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 conjugated yes double single double single double throughout the ring so this is anti-aromatic compound right i hope you understood and the last but not the least non-aromatic compounds see the best definition definition is compounds which are neither aromatic which are neither aromatic nor anti-aromatic are non-aromatic compounds how see suppose i am putting a non-cyclic compound a cyclic compound so there is no cycle so non-aromatic suppose there is a cycle but each carbon is sp3 hybridized let's say so it is non-aromatic there is a ring there is conjugation but not throughout the ring and still there is sp3 hybridization so there are if all the four conditions for aromatic and all the four conditions for anti-aromatic compounds are not satisfied then we will tell that it is a non-aromatic compound so if we compare the stability yeah the main part so the order of stability is the most stable are aromatic compounds then non-aromatic compounds and obviously if most stable is aromatic then most unstable is anti of aromatic which is anti-aromatic compounds okay so if the order of stability is this then the order of energy would be reversed aromatic would be least then non-aromatic and then anti-aromatic you know that energy and stability are inverse now <clears throat> the thing is why the reason behind why aromatic is stable so the reason behind it it can be explained by molecular orbital theory mot okay so but the reasons the detailed reasons are beyond the scope of the syllabus but i'll give you a gist see it is explained by molecular orbital theory you know there are uh, bonding molecular orbitals there are anti-bonding molecular orbitals so there are few bonding molecular orbitals few anti-bonding molecular orbitals bmo abmo and we apply a symmetry theory in which uh, easiest way to do is to do with the frost circle we draw a circle and we try to insert the compound suppose for we are checking for benzene so let's check like this okay so these where the intersecting point are the levels and we have this symmetry this is the center line so the points which are above the central lines are abmo and below the central lines are bmo so there are you know in benzene there are six pi electrons so let's fill them okay so there are six levels so one two three four five and six and molecular orbital theory says that if all the if there are more bonding electrons or electrons in electrons are more in bonding molecular orbital it provides stability so uh, extraordinary stability comes to the system thank you so much